Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Carolina Ruck Cuddles. I am your host, Matthew, as always. Welcome to the channel. Today's episode, I have something just a little bit special to y'all. It's something I've been asking, been asked to do again and again. So I figured, let's do this. We are going to put the X4, the Rancho, and the 6x6 side by side. And we are going to take them in a little mud and just show off what the strengths and weaknesses of each one is. We're going to start off with the Rancho. So I'm re-recording this because my camera was acting super funny. Seems to be right now. I don't know what was going on, but I think I got it right. I already had that running because I was about to leave. And I was looking at the video to see if I need to add anything. And I noticed that my recording was fuzzy. Well, not fuzzy. It was like slow motion. It was like, so I have to re-record this part again, which sucks. Anyways, we're going to start off with the Rancho. It's a 200, uh, no, not 200, 329 cc. 20 point i think it's 20.1 horsepower engine compared to the 18 horse engine that's in this i think it's a 282 286 and the uh, four tracks but these are the two models you got a little more ground clearance with that one because of the bigger tiles but it's not much i think i counted tw uh, 12 in the front here from the ground to the lowest point and 10 in the rear and this one's like 12 and a half and it actually has less ground clearance in the back on this one. I measured it, guys, and I was surprised. Sorry this thing's running. Like I said, I was about to leave, and I realized the video. This thing has less ground clearance, but because of the longer frame, it helps it to crawl battle. So we're going to take these over there, and we're going to try to test them out. We want to see, is the six wheels and long wheelbase better than this? Yes, I know. It's a little wheel because this has silverbacks and outlaws. This has I Carlisle's and ITP's, I guess it is. But uh, it's not really a fail video it's just to show you just a little bit of extra stuff show you, we just put a comparison sadly like always i'm alone so we gotta take each one there individually and i'll put them together in the video and then we're gonna take the wolverine just because why not we're gonna compare these two we'll show you what a side by side which wider wheelbase can do okay so we're gonna take the rancher i'm gonna go ahead and slap my gopro on hope the video don't get slow again and we're gonna do the rancher for us then we're gonna do this and guys, let me know. This is going to be uh, in the mud, so we're going to test these out in the mud right fast. If y'all want to see us try to climb stuff and test the uh, longer wheelbase for the shorter wheelbase, leave a comment below and let me well, know. Guys, let me the know. whole point of this video is to show, kind of to sh uh, show the differences between this 350 and the uh, 6x6 300. But honestly, it's also to show the difference between builds. This is what you would call, I call it a stock build. You got tiles, you got snorkel. And that's it that's all you can afford a lot of us just growing up you can't afford to put all the nicest stuff on it you get hand-me-down tiles this is just show the mild bill versus the six by six which is the wild bill okay so now let's go show this off in the mud a little bit i better put my boots up because it is still thick in there i want to show the difference of how how well each one does probably should have idled it back down and we go down So we're gonna show this off right fast. This is why we're here. This thing has a heck of a hole. Just look how look how bad this hole has gotten over time. She's rolling back. Bye, baby. You'll be fine. And uh, this is one of the biggest issues with what I call a solid rear axle. It can't flex there. It's solid. It's you can see what it sticks right around there. So you kind of get stuck there. But over time, I need to get a shovel and dig this out. Be fine. An axle paddle would help here. A lot of our stuff, you can't use the axle paddle because uh, it ain't hard. But this is clay over here, so you can use the axle paddle. I just want to show that off. So this right here will not make it. I'll, I'll try. I'll show you how. Ah! It won't make it. But it might. Today it might. Is it? Oh, I must say, am I corrected today? Other day it wouldn't. Go, uh, voice. See how bad it drug there? We get that. I think we get up this one now. See? Made it right up. But uh, you kind of see what I'm saying, right? This is what you call a mild build. Now the pros of this thing is that it's easy to get out. If it's stuck, you can rock it, you can push it, you can lift it up. It's lightweight. Like I can literally walk over here and pick it up and throw it around as much as I want. It's light. 
Now that's one big issue with a lot of the bigger foilers, whether it's a 420 or 500, or even the Can-Ams or anything else. The heavier they get, the harder they are to get out once they get stuck. Whoa, they'll get stuck going backwards, Dale. Come on, yep. If you take these small CC foilers and you uh, put uh, big, big tiles, Willie's almost, it's almost out of the question. Go back in. Oh. Back up. See why I hit? See how I just rock it? That gets you out. You can also go over here, all these places. Don't break the axle, baby. Uh, looks like we ain't getting out of here anymore. We really gotta come dig these out. We really need water to float. Good thing about these mile bills that they'll float really well. See that? Just just cut the tracks. Here's one thing I really like about these uh, little these mile bills instead of the extreme bills. You can still wheelie. You can wheelie everywhere. They're fun, and they're fun to play with. Like I can, I can sit here and throw it right back around. I've got trees. I, I didn't throw it around fast enough. But uh, well, a big, a big crazy build. You can't do that. Okay, okay, guys. Let's go ahead and let's go get the six by six, and we'll show that off now and show the differences. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the six by six is out. This would be more of what I call a wild build. Why is it a wild build? One is custom. It has a super high snorkel that I'll never need because it flows and you got 28 inch tires. Most people will agree that the 300 around 28 inch tires is when you start breaking stuff. And I will agree on that. When you put 28, it starts breaking. This is a custom built one. So I always have issues, but it's not the fullest fault. You got a long frame, which helps to get out of holes. But this, I'm just showing showing the differences between this one and the Rancho. It's definitely a whole different world with this one. Got it's a longer chassis, bigger tiles. She's and she has a 75 percent gear reduction. But again, like I think I've always said this, uh, it only goes 17 mile an hour, maybe 20 if you floor it all the way down. But that's top speed. There's no more. So let me flap the GoPro. Let me put the GoPro back on, and uh, we're going through the mud and show the differences between this okay, and the Rancho. Guys. Okay, okay, we are back. So let's show the differences between this and the Rancho. Yes, I know the Rancho don't have as big dials, but just show off what this six by six can do. First gear, second gear. Don't look at that, uh, the glue came off. might have dug this too much out even a six by six might not make it As you see, can see guys, I think we finally dug that out too much. It, you know it's dug out too much when even the six by six can't make it. It was making it the other day. Let me clean this off. Oh, there's mud all over it. Oh, well guys, that didn't go as planned, but it did climb right up that where the other one couldn't. Oh, man. This thing, I'll put a video right here of the other day when this thing was climbing that and the other one couldn't. Because this thing, this thing normally climbs a lot better, but I think we just finally dug it out. Stay 
a second gear. I know we can make it. I made it the other day with no trouble. There you go. Yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a tank. Did y'all see that? I wish, I wish I had somebody recording because this thing just goes up and over. Come to think of it, I, I hope my GoPro didn't move too much. I cleaned it off, I, I forgot to do that. But I hope y'all saw that. That's pretty bad to the bone. Uh oh. up and over like it's nothing what it is is when the rancher gets up there and i try climbing sideways it runs out of tile because the, the back tiles go off the ground well this day still have the extra set of tiles on the back Woo! well guys as you saw there this thing climbed up and over where the rancher wouldn't I think some of it might have to do with tiles, but it also has a lot to do with those back axles. Well, that tile would be, would have been off the ground. That one was still digging in the very back. And that helps a lot. I mean, I, I just want to show y'all. Y'all see it with your own eyes. I don't want to lie if people think that I ain't. I mean, you saw that. It climbed up and over. So now let's go get the side-by-side -side and show how that walks. Because that's a whole different ball game. Let's go grab that thing. We're not here. Also... No fendals don't work very well. I'm covered. This is one of the biggest problems with this thing. I had to cut the fendals off. Man, it throws mud all over me. Woo! Well, let's go get this side by side. I'll meet you right And last but not least, we got the X4. I know this ain't a fair comparison, but I'm throwing it in there just because, yes, it's going to do battle for multiple reasons. But, one, you can see it's wider. That's a really big thing a lot of people don't realize. Wider means you're not going down the same ruts. As you can see, all the ruts around here are narrow because of the Hondas going through them. That's why it's going to completely avoid the ruts. Then you got independent suspension. Let's go back here. Okay, independent suspension. So you got a lot more ground clamps. It's like a phone. <laughs> to read. So that's what was whacking back there. I was wondering what kept hitting back there. Anyways, get out of the way for barns up. Anyway, so that helps out. I also have diff lock. Diff lock is a saving grace. That thing is amazing. So, uh, let me uh, get my GoPro set up because this is a whole different machine. Need the GoPro has to be set up different on my head. And we'll show you the difference between this and the other two. Okay, guys. So, now that we got uh, this thing straight, we're going to show you the difference between the other two and this. I got four-wheel drive. I don't got the diff lock. So, side-by-side -side is going to do better for multiple reasons. One, it's big or wider. But also has that issue because I got to go through my own. I got to find a new rut. There you go. I should put it in low. There you go. See that, guys? But my speedometer was even working. That's how slow I was going when I climbed it. Because I didn't have to hit the same exact rut. I was going through a different rut. And because I could, I wasn't going down the same rut, my center, the center of, uh, of my uh, diff and stuff wasn't hitting. I could literally just go through here and never hit anything. Just go. Just climb nice and slow. And 
And I also have a 69 horsepower on this compared to the 20 on the other two. So that does help. I mean, I'm not, as y'all can see, I'm not using any of the horsepower. I'm just slowly crawling because this thing has, is just so wide. And again, I'm not comparing this to the other two. It's just to show you a, a little difference comparison. I didn't have the gun, I just felt like it. But it's just, I'm just trying to show everybody exactly each model and how they work. Now, if y'all want to see some climbing videos between the uh, 350 and the uh, 300 6x6, let me know. I will build some climbing courses and we'll make this happen. But y'all have to let me know. Co put a comment below, tell me that you want to see that. I mean, if you don't, I just won't do it. One big issue with a side-by-side, -side, guys, is that everything on it costs way more than a four-wheeler. At least the old four-wheelers. See, I can literally go anywhere I want in this hole with this thing. Ah, crap! I didn't go far enough. <laughs> I can literally just go anywhere I want. And I don't have any trouble because I am so much wider than everything else here. All these ruts. Oh, I might have got a little, little too extreme. Let's go through it one more time. One more time, guys, one more time. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I just felt like making a little comparison video. I, I hope it all works out well for everybody and everybody enjoys it. Woohoo! Oh. <laughs> I knew that was happening. Look at that. Oh, that belly pan. Oh, should we go? She won't make it. No. Just joking. <laughs> For anybody, I've had people watch my video and say this thing is weak because I ease it and I don't floor it. This thing, it sounds like right there, it sounded like it was struggling, but I barely had the foot on the gas. That's, I barely ever had the foot on the gas. Uh, let's come back again and let's try it in high. Oh crap. Ah! Don't hit me. I don't want to die. I want to live. Okay, let's try this again, but this time we're going to do it high. Because I know, because normally I put it low. Let's do it high. Look at, oh, I just washed that bag. Ah, oh, now they got it dirty. Oh. I fell in the hole. I might have done that a little wrong. Ooh, guys, that, I might have dug that out a little too much last time. Hang on. Okay, guys, I've officially dug this out beyond record. I gotta get an excavator back here and clean this up. Man, that was, that scared me. I ain't gonna lie. But it fell on soda set. I didn't know that was gonna happen. Okay, let's get my bag. Fall in. I dug these out beyond. Oh, my wife's gonna be mad. She just cleaned that bag and now I got a dirty. Okay guys, well, I'll see y'all at the house in a second. Well guys, we're back. We made it back with all three. In the midst of coming, oh, son's in my way. In, in the coming home, like I was on the way home, my nephew goes, I wanna ride. So I took him riding on the side by side. I think I'm gonna make that a separate video. I was gonna make it all one video, but I think I got some good footage with me and him playing around. So it's gonna be a whole nother uh, video. You can look over there, it's in the corner. I gotta wash it off. These two got to be washed off too. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. It wasn't to bash any of these three models. It was to show you the difference between what I like to call a mild build and an extreme build. Yes, there's pros and cons of everything. This is way more fun. You can wheelie, but you get stuck a lot more than you would with this. Well, this thing, you know, get, doesn't get stuck, has a gear reduction, can spin big old tiles, but end of the day, it's all up to you what you want. I love both of them. I possibly wouldn't have one or the other by itself. Like, after building the 6x6, I love this thing, 
but I wouldn't just own it by itself. Like it's, would it get, I would not just own a Honda with a gear reduction by itself because it's so slow and it gets kind of boring. Like you need something without a gear reduction, a little more stock to have fun. And the side by side was just for fun. It was fun to play around with it. Anyways, well, I got to get back to washing all these. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see y'all on the next one.